I think we want the warmth right now as well. We're going to have to wait a little bit for that, but really as we get into tomorrow and going forward this week, a huge, huge warm-up is going to work its way down the pipeline. You might want to hang out in bed for a little while longer, though. It is cold outside, 22 degrees right now. These are the actual air temperatures. Again, we were talking yesterday more with the wind impact. Today, more of just that hard freeze across a lot of central Florida right now, especially along the northwest of I-4, where it is 27 degrees in the villages. 34 now in Orlando, a couple of notches above freezing. We are at 33 degrees in Melbourne. Big warm up coming in our direction for more on that forecast. You can also download the Pinpoint weather app. You see the QR code there on your screen. Just take your smartphone's camera right up to the TV and it'll bring you to the page where you can download that free Pinpoint weather app. We also have many more videos on there from our own team of meteorologists themselves to kind of get you through this cold blast and then talk about that warm up coming in our direction. Winds are a lot calmer than yesterday. They are still moving out there. When there is a little bit of wind, it keeps the atmosphere mixed up, and that's why we have temperatures all over the place this morning. We have a six mile per hour breeze in Orlando, now back to three miles, very light for us in Ocala. A little breezy on the coast though, about 10 to 15 mile per hour breeze, helping it feel a little colder than what it is. That's what it looks like outside on the Brevard Coast at Port Canaveral. You still see the palm trees blowing in the wind, and that is going to add insult to injury for you this morning. That is a live look for you at Port Canaveral again with our launch credit union camera. There are those winds out of the northwest at about 14 miles an hour. It's taking air temperatures that are at 39 degrees with sunshine, making it feel more like 31 degrees. Again, that wind is nasty for you on the coast, although still lighter than where it was yesterday. Now here's a look at your pinpoint accurate hour by hour forecast. Lots and lots of sunshine. Improvements coming this afternoon. It is still going to be chilly today. Temperatures topping out around 60 degrees. You see it there by four, hanging around 57 degrees. And then again, with those winds on the calmer side, it will drop quickly again. Not as cold tomorrow morning. But you'll still want the heavier jacket as you're waiting for the school bus or waiting for uh, to head to work tomorrow morning. Here is 10 o'clock. Forget about the clouds. There are going to be hardly any in the sky, if any at all. Lots of sunshine in the mix. Starting off tomorrow morning, likely another frosty morning. So keep the plants covered if you covered them last night for one more night. And then we're going to get rid of all this stuff. You see, as we go through the rest of Monday afternoon, we are looking pretty good in terms of the sunshine. We are keeping that high temperatures today back to the mid to upper 50s this afternoon. Some of us closing in right on 60 degrees, so it's still going to be cool. You see it there, average high temperatures back to the low to mid 70s. So we're still about 10 to 15 degrees below that. Getting into tonight, it's going to be a a little warmer, if you want to call it that. It's still going to be really cold tomorrow morning and likely a frosty start for most of us. Back to the mid to upper 30s overnight. Some of us may hang around 40, but it's still going to be cold. You're going to want the heavier jacket. You'll likely want to shed that, though, as the week goes on. For that, here is a look at your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. This is what we want. This is what we're talking about. Hanging around 70 degrees tomorrow afternoon after that cold start. It's a good day for those pants from the 90s where you, you know, the zip offs at the <laughs> at the knees. No, there's never a good day for those. Those are the greatest. <laughs> anyway, upper 70s on Wednesday and then there we go. Shorts, plain old shorts for you as we get into Thursday and Friday. Temperatures get back into the low to mid 80s. All right. I'm going to have to think of some. That's a good gift idea. I'll have to see if I can find some. Those are fantastic. No. You can just zip them off. That was, the, no. that was an icon. No. <laughs> Man, those are great. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan.